Kaiju family, this is Godzilla Chain 1090 Soaring to your station today with another Throwback Thursday. And today, for this edition of Throwback Thursday, we're going to be reintroducing one of my very first Xbox figures. I think he was number three or four. Well, I hope I can look again. I don't remember. But this is definitely one of my first Xbox figures. One of the most hated by some. And one of the most underrated Xbox figures of them all. The 30 centimeter 19 from the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. We're going to be discussing Space Godzilla today. Now, my story behind getting this guy. So, if you haven't known already, I've only been uh, an Xbox collector for four years now, I guess. This was I think that's where I got my first 89 in 2017. But anyways, so I was a young, younger lad at that time, and like I said, that was just the beginning of my Xbox journey, not me getting the Xbox figures. I had just got my very first, um, the 1980, the original 1989 Godzilla. Pretty sure that was a diamond issue. I did find it pretty cheap, but eh. anyways, that's besides the point. So. That was my very first figure, and this guy was next. Once I saw that this guy was available one day, it was actually from another YouTuber, and for the life of me, I can't remember who it is. I should probably go back and watch the old video I did to see if it's in there, and if it is, I'll bring it back up a little bit later. But anyways, so, got this from another, from another fellow collector, got him for a pretty decent price too, and by all means, with 1989, y'all know how that one looked. At that point, I was already kind of sold on Xbox figures. Then when I got this big chunk of vinyl in my in my possession, I was absolutely blown away. Now, I will do some. Of course, you know I'll do close close ups and do some size comparisons with this guy. But like I said, my first impression of him, I really loved him. I still love him. He's a pain in the butt to get pictures of, but but uh, uh, it happens. Some Xbox figures you just can't get good pictures of, and he is one of them. But besides that, he is an amazing, great-looking representation of Space Godzilla. And I know Leslie, just, and no, Leslie, I'm not copying you by doing a Space Godzilla review. Don't let anyone tell you. Don't let. Don't let him tell you different, guys. He's gonna try and play you. I promise. I was already planning this from last week. That I was gonna do this review. So don't let Leslie tell you that I'm copying him. But anyways, I think to me this to me this is the best looking space guzzle out there. The death of roll, the face on there is way more detailed. But the serious size, chunk, the girthiness of this man, and like I said, to me, his face looks the most suit accurate in my opinion. I haven't seen the other two in person yet. I do think the death of roll version hat face does look a bit, little bit more suit accurate, but I don't have it, but y'all know I don't cut Death of War figures, so that's why I don't have that. So, but as far as this guy, eh, I'll show the rest when I come up and close up and personal for him, so y'all can see him. I'll give you a really good detailed look at this this big boy. And remember, this is only a 30 centimeter figure, but I'm not a small guy myself. And you see how this dude pretty much covers most of my freaking body. But I'll go ahead and go up close and personal with this guy. I'll show you some, show you how he looks compared to. Well, actually, no, I can't do that. But yeah. All right. Let's go on and get up close and personal with this, with this bad boy. I'll throw in some size comparisons and I'll let y'all know what I think of this figure. Thank you so much. And here's the big, thick, chunky SOB himself, Space Godzilla. Now, this like in my original fig my vis original video of this guy. He's still a thick boy. Ever since getting him, no one in my collection has out thicked. Well, actually, you know what? I'm lying. The 2014 Godzilla is maybe thick into this guy. And if he is, it's not by much. But I still think he's the thickest Godzilla in my collection. I mean, come on. Look, look at them Thunder Thighs. Classic Heisei Thunder Thighs. 
No. In my humble opinion, I still find this to be the best Space Godzilla out of all of them. Again, that's that's just me. I don't have 25 centimeter for vision. I love the face on the Defo Reel, but I don't collect Defo Reels. So, is he the best face because of by default? Eh, maybe. But, I still love the way this guy looks. I mean, if you look at his face, you can see, you can tell that's Space Godzilla. Yeah, it's not as detailed as a lot of the figures nowadays. I honestly wouldn't mind if Yuji Sakai did another, did another version, did made a uh, Space Godzilla themselves. But until then, I'm happy with this guy. Coming, I mean, yeah, the teeth aren't that detailed, but I mean, this is, this figure did come out 2013, so this is this boy is old. He's an old man. One well, actually one of the oldest in my collection, actually, as far as actual figures goes. I think only thing older than him may be the 91 Sakai, but I'm not too sure about that either. But anyways, but. The reason, another reason why I really like this Space Godzilla is because this is probably, this was my first uh, X Plus figure that actually has some color to him. I mean, yeah, Space Godzilla doesn't supposed to have a ton of color, but if you see, he has a lot of, a lot of purple on him. This big old red chest with his big old Biolanti stylish uh, belly. And I know a lot of people find, find that weird on this figure, but I mean, hey. He was made because of Biolante in a sense, so you can't be too weirded out by that. But, yep, this is Biolante sack again. Which, I don't know. It was weird. It was weird when I first saw it, but honestly, I'm going, I'm going to be okay with it. As you see, he has red vines coming from his shoulder crystals that are white and purple. Which... It's been a while since I watched Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, so I may need to watch it again to see that suit accurate. But, if it's not, I think it's a nice touch. And, as you see, all his, his whole, even though you're going down his back as well, the, his, his crystal uh, spines with the little purple hue on the bottom of them, I think that looks cool to me. That always made God, Space Godzilla look very unique. And, even though they did miss an opportunity by putting light-ups in here, Cause even if you see up here in the horn, right there, that's even translucent. His back of his spines are translucent. They really could have just, hey, let's throw some light-ups in here. Maybe I haven't been collecting long enough to know that the Rick feature was, Rick Fitch, Rick Fitch, ugh, can't talk today. The Rick feature was a light-up, but besides that, they should have put a light-up in this guy. So if they reissue a light-up version of him, am I going to get him? No. If he has little guys a little with him, will I get him? Maybe. And then I'll have to sell this old man, but I don't know. Like I said, he's probably my second X plus figure. But as far as the purple on his body, he even has purple 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 at the at the end of his toes. With his toenails in, has him on his fingernails. And I love that he's actually he's blue. The other space guys are to me is just black. I actually love the fact that this dude is blue, and I I don't know. There's something about this guy. It was when I first got him, he was definitely like one of my girl pieces, as much, especially as much as I love Space Godzilla. So I was really excited when I did get him. I didn't get him for a crazy price either. Cause I know this guy goes for like five hundred dollars on eBay, but I'm really happy to have this guy in my collection. He's one of my favorite pieces. Hate trying to take pictures of him because he's a pain, but but besides that. I really do love the space, love my Space Godzilla. But all right, I brought up some other figures right now to do some size comparisons, so you can take a look at how chunky he, this dude really is. From another review that I did, not recently, but not too far away either ago, with Mogera. As you see, Mogera is also a really big X Plus figure. As you see, he's actually he's a little bit taller than Space Godzilla, oddly enough, which I don't know why I didn't notice that until today. <laughs> But in the movie, I think Mogera maybe had a, a few inches over him because of the antenna on his head that, yes, as you see, is broken. I don't know where that disappeared to. I don't remember if I received it that way or not. Mogera came in like four different pieces when I had him, so I'm just happy to have him together as is. But even with this, to me, they still look great together. And y'all know I'm not super picky when it comes to 
so the things being sized up correctly. So I'm I'm okay with this. It's basically because it was standing straight up. He may be as just as tall as Magera. But of course, you know we gotta do one more size comparison. And since we don't have the proper tri uh, triplets to this movie, we have a stand-in for him. And instead of instead of the '94 Godzilla, I'll be bringing up the the recently released number three in my figure of the year competition last year, the 1993 Standard Godzilla. And of course, you know how beefy the '93 Godzilla is, especially if you have a new collection. Uh, okay, so I had to get the camera focused up. But you see how beefy this dude is. And seeing Space Godzilla still out beef him with his and out beef him with his beefcakes of, of thighs. You know what? Let me just let me just show y'all closer. In case you don't have Space Godzilla. But you do have the ninth three Godzilla so you, so you can see how thick he really is compared to him. But I just have to get the shot because to me this is perfect for the movie. Godzilla and Mogera fighting Space Godzilla side by side. Even if Space Godzilla is a... It's not Space Godzilla. Mogera is a knockoff Mega Godzilla, but whatever. But, as you again, as you see, you see how beefy Godzilla is, but you see how thick Space Godzilla is compared to him. It's really night and day how big Space Godzilla is. He's a huge figure. And I even heard from somebody, Leslie... That he's actually almost as tall as the gigantic GMK Godzilla. So is he gigantic size? No, but he is a massive 30 centimeter figure. That you have to have in your collection if you love Space Godzilla. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Miguel's trying to come back. He's back to, he's he's back to fight. And again, hell's all three of them together. And not my favorite Heisei movie. But a Heisei movie that does still hold dear to my heart. Because it's the Heisei era. But alright guys, I'll give you uh, final thoughts of what I think of Space Godzilla right now. And we're back. <sighs> so, that's my thoughts on the 30 centimeter Space Godzilla. Now, with, if they ever be issue this guy, and maybe it's a Kai Scope, would I get it? I'd consider it depending on how it looks. But in my opinion, this guy looks absolutely perfect. It looks amazing. And yes, I would have loved to have the the little guys that are that came with this big boy. But it's okay. I couldn't talk myself into getting another Space Godzilla. Cause don't get me wrong, I do love Space Godzilla. He's honestly up there for one of my as one of my favorite Godzilla villains. But I'm not gonna justify getting two. Okay, very few monsters get that treatment. Godzilla has more than one form of him, obviously, but it's not the same Godzilla. I don't have two 89s in there on, laying around anywhere, or two 84s, unless that's my favorite suit. So, uh, with that being said, that's why I couldn't justify getting a 25 centimeter space Godzilla. As much as I wanted that little Godzilla. But it's okay. I'm still in love with this guy. Like I said, he's still one of my, one of my favorite figures in my collection. Hey, trying to get pictures of him. The picture I even got today was a pain that you know what, but it's okay. He's worth it. He's definitely one. He's probably the oldest Xbox figure. No, there's one more older than him. And I'll actually do that with you probably. Or not even a review. It'll be a redo review, technically. I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that one next week, actually. And other. Oh. And before I get into other news, if I had to rate this this guy, I'll probably give him a, a 8, 8.5 out of 10. It's not too, I mean, y'all have noticed, I'm not, I'm not I'm trying not to give too many figures 10 out of 10s. I'm trying to stay away that say, oh, there's not a lot of figures that are absolutely perfect. There's a few, don't get me wrong. And I, as much as I do love this guy, I won't give him a 10 out of 10 yet. I won't give him a 10 out of 10 either. It's, not happening. Ain't happening. But definitely don't let that deter you from getting this big, this big chunk of vinyl. This guy's a beast. This guy's a monster. He looks absolutely amazing. He is a shelf hog, so please be mindful of that when you do get him. 
make sure you have them please. Don't just sit them up there to something random so he can fall over. Or just so he doesn't have room. You don't want to have figures sitting on the floor like some collectors do. But besides that, that's my view of the, night, the, the 1994 30 centimeter space vessel. Now, as far as other things I have coming down, I do. I am gonna. Um, I actually did get the Funko Pops Godzilla and King Kong. I had to get it. I was only able to get the six inch ones. Heaven forbid I got the ten inch ones. I would have. I did an unboxing video for that day, but it's okay. I don't mind not finding it, and I'm not paying scalpel prices for it either. But I'm going to review those two pretty soon. And I'm actually going to start throwing some uh, NECA, some NECA reviews on the channel as well. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if I'm going to do them two at a time or one at a time. I don't know yet. It just depends on feeling, I guess. And also, I uh, haven't made an official date yet, but I do finally have a, a, an official name for my interview show, interview show I'm interviewing other collectors. And that's going to be called Kai, Kaiju, Kaiju's Next Door. And I'm actually really forward to looking forward to getting, getting that series off the ground. I'm really gonna, I'm really excited to have a chance to speak with other collectors and get their backgrounds on how things were when, when they were growing up as guys the fans, what they turn into now, and what they want for themselves in the future. I'm really excited to get that off the ground. And something I'm, I don't know, how, something I'm, I'm proud of for doing. It's, I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think I will enjoy it. I know I'm going to enjoy doing it. Especially talking to other collectors. I love having... I don't know. I guess the way my personality is. I love having people, different people's perspectives. And learning their lives and things like that. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to get that started. And for other news. Also, um, of course, our new episode of Monsters of Attitude. The Shin Godzilla Conference. Operation Joshua Ori. Is on Monster is on, on Monster Attitude YouTube channel. Which I'll probably leave a link in the, in the description below. Honestly, mm -hmm. so y'all can go check that out as well. And also, if I haven't already bragged about it enough, our group on Facebook, Kaiju Collectors. Uh, a few weeks ago, we finally hit a thousand members. I'm really excited for that. That makes me really happy that we got a thousand members. We hit that big old milestone, and also Kaiju Life hit that milestone as well a couple of days ago. So of course, congratulations to AJ and Frank on Kaiju Life. Y'all really deserve hitting a thousand subs as well. That was absolutely awesome seeing y'all hit that. But as far as the celebration with um, as far as, far as the celebration with us and Kaiju Kaiju collectors, the the original plan was to try to do an all day watch party, but that kind of fell through. So instead, we're going to be doing a, 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 a episode of Monsters with Attitude instead. And actually, that's going to be my pilot episode for uh, Kaiju's Next Door. So that's going to be the pilot episode. And I'm going to be interviewing all my co-hosts. And they're going to tell me about how their, work, how, how their upbringing was as a Godzilla fan. So I'm really excited to get that, to get that off the ground. And excited to talk to them about that stuff too. They're not all excited about it, but mm, it's okay. They we love each other, so I'm hoping they'll open. They'll be happy. I hope I hope they'll be happy to open up. Open up to me on camera. That, that's gonna be interesting to see. But besides that, uh, oh, and also, if you are a member, if you already a member of Kaiju Collectors, we will be doing. Uh, we will be doing a collection. I'll say that for tomorrow. We will be having a short uh, live stream tomorrow in Kaiju Collectors, and uh, uh, with with, a, with an announcement as well. So if you if you if you if you are part of Kaiju Collectors, go ahead and um, check, look out for us tomorrow. Or actually, by the time I post this, it'll be late on today, about uh, seven o'clock Central Time. We'll be getting, we'll be posting it. So we'll be we're actually going live this time for. For people who couldn't find us last time, we got, we're, we're just gonna go live in Kaiju Collectors because this is an exclusive Kaiju Collectors business. But if you would like to join Kaiju Collectors, find us on Facebook and give us a, get, and ask to join the group, and I'll probably even personally invite accept you myself, honestly. But okay, 
Um, besides that, that's all I got for tonight, guys. Thank you all for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great night. And it's been a while, so maybe I'll throw in a teaser on what's coming up next. But, again, we'll see what happens. Alright, guys. Have a good night.